Thank you for coming. So, uh, this is the right place, right? Yes, yes. In a house. Yes, we... I decided to have the interview in my house, you know, a more comfortable environment for me, personally. Is this, uh, your family, then? Uh, uh, no. No, it's not. They're all Hispanic boys. <laughs> uh... Here's, uh, my resume. Oh. Looks like you have quite a bit of work experience. What exactly makes you think you're the best candidate for this organization? Well, actually, that, that would be my first question would be, um, if you could give me a little bit of information that I can kind of respond on, uh, like, what kind of specific tasks um, would be required of me. It was a little vague in the online description. Well, one thing you need to be good at is playing the field. You need to be able to stand on the sidelines and observe, try to make yourself unknown, and then just jump right into the game as soon as you see the golden opportunity. Well, in previous jobs, during um, hard economic times, I've had to rise to the occasion and uh, make sure that we just got profits everywhere. Yes, well, you'll definitely be doing a lot of that here. On a day-to-day -day basis, what can my work day be expected to look like? Uh, well, well, the job we, well, the job we're looking to fill, you'll be around children a lot. You're going to have to work with them okay. in very advanced ways. Now, Advanced ways? Yes, advanced ways. It's... Exactly, it's exactly what it sounds like, really. You'll want to go down, uh, you want to go down to your office, we call it. Uh, it's actually more of a van. It's a mobile office of sorts. Okay. No windows so that you're able to focus on the task at hand. That and be you'll, helpful, although dangerous. You'll drive, down to your, you'll drive down to your job site, mainly do surveillance of sorts, and then it's your call as to how you choose to do your business. What would the business be? And, and where, where exactly um, does the profiteering come from? Well, the profit we receive is twofold. On one hand, we are able to bring income to us in the form of um, cleverly placed memos that direct, fin that direct the finances in our direction. On the other hand, you get a personal satisfaction that cannot be described. In your job, you're going to be in contact with a lot of different people, sometimes more than one at a time. And here, we are very protective of our clients. We never, never want to lose them at any cost, ever, unless we feel that it benefits us financially. But that's for another time, you see. So you'll want to keep the clients with us as long as possible, okay? You've got to hold them to our company, really bind them to our essence. What kind of salary range could I expect from this position? Uh, and in what form uh, would that come in? Uh, a single client can yield approximately $20,000, that's the minimum, if the profits are all split between all the members, and uh, they usually come in the form of non-sequential bills, like kind of rolls of cash. Sometimes an attaché case will come in full of money. Are clients uh, related to banks or something? You could say that. Okay. Yeah. There will there will be risks involved too. I feel I should mention that. Um, what kind of risks would uh, that be? Um. There is a rival faction that may or may not try to pursue various venues to prevent you from the full ranges of your job. So there are people who are trying to come between us and our clients. Yes. And we're trying to avoid them if at all possible. Engaging them directly rarely, if ever, works. So once I have, um, you know, reached the client, obtained their trust, um, I guess I will be expected to kind of get to know them in a very personal way and um, kind of get inside them and know what makes them tick. Yes, you okay. could say that. Um, and from there, you'll you know you'll lay out your position. Ask them to come to the office. You'll, you'll have to perform all business in the office. Okay. Because we don't want the rival organization. Right. We cannot mix business and pleasure. Okay. So making sure that those don't, you know, overlap. Right. Um, it seems like that's a priority. Has there been an incident in the past or something with a company that... Former employee. Uh, mm -hmm. 
he, he jumped the gun on an assignment, uh, really blew his, blew his load on what was initially to be a dry run, as it were. Uh, and, you know... He, made, he made a big mess, basically. Yes, very big yes. mess. That went bad. What are some of the other people or positions that I'll be working with? You, you, you won't see them much. Okay. And it's up to you whether or not you want to take them with you, whether you feel they'll be an asset or a hindrance. Because it could be hard to keep it up while someone's watching. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Uh, it says you have previous work in the service industry. Tell me about that. Kind of a dirty job, but uh, I was working um, as a as a groundskeeper, mm -hmm. and um, I, th I think they uh, had an issue with uh, a mascot in the past, and so they weren't using oh. it that year. Well, some people just can't control themselves, mm -hmm. and it's sad. And that's one thing we value here: self control. And yes. I can see that you have that. Yes. What kind of um, Tools or gear can I be expected to be using during the um, during the workday? You should that I need to know how to use. You should have a basic grasp of chemistry for this. You do have a toolbox inside of every office to use as you see fit: uh, plier, uh, wrenches, uh, standard lockpick set, um, basic stuff. Um, you should also be familiar with various types of adhesives. Um, duct tape is a favorite. You will need duct tape. Uh, can I ask why? Uh, you can. Are you? Well, it sounds like you have a lot of the skills that we require in this job. You won't need much training at all, it seems. Mainly the use of the mobile office, and that's about it. We are hard to steer. It's a very big vehicle. And it has no windows. Yeah. Except for the front. The front has windows. Yeah. That, that would, otherwise, it would be very ineffective. Be against the law. Yeah. I'm looking at your resume, and everything seems to be in order, but I feel it's necessary to ask you, what, what do you perceive some of your weaknesses to be so that we could address them in okay. the workplace and strengthen them? Well, I do tend to be kind of a workaholic. I um, kind of get in there, and then I just, you know, I don't want to back out. I don't, don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of want to go all the way yeah. and see a job done. Um, that can actually be a valuable asset to this company. I am um, also kind of a uh, control freak. I like to be on top of everything. Good. Very good. Don't look back there. You don't need to see what's back there. So is there uh, anything else you want to ask me? Uh, yeah. When can you start? Uh, I can start tomorrow. Then tomorrow it shall be. I will have your mobile workplace ready at... Um, do you know what the elementary school is? Well, I think we're done here. Okay. It's very good working with Thank the, you very much. interviewing you, and I look forward to seeing you at work tomorrow. I look forward to being there. All right, you're free to go, but not that way. That way. This way. This way. Okay. But that's, that's the way I came mm -hmm. in. Just saying. Uh, there's some work being done there right now. It happened while you were here, so. Okay, I did kind of hear. Okay, I don't want to. Yeah, right. In the middle of something between, right. between anyone. Oh, one more thing. Yes. Do you have your own chloroform? No. 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 Holy shit! You're a rapist!